welcome back in this tutorial we will learn about operation toolbar from sketcher environment so click on start mechanical design sketcher ok select the plane uh, this is the operation toolbar you can see it there so here first is corner suppose two lines are there press escape to come out then click on corner click on the first line second line and give the location so by double clicking this parameter you can change the radius so undo it so here is corner so there are different options are available here first is trim all element that we have seen then next is trim first element no trim if we take no trim it will not trim the lines if I click first line second line I can also give this radius using tab button press the tab and give the radius how much you want 50 enter so it will not trim the lines so then next is standard line trim then construction line trim so it will create the construction lines and construction lines no trim construction line trim first line second line radius so it will create the construction lines it will not trim it so in this way you can create corner then chamfer is there chamfer then you can choose which option you want those are the same as corner option or fillet option so suppose I will take this construction line trim give first line second line and location so here if you want to give this dimension then you have to delete this dimension and using constraint you can give the length of this line how much you want so in this way it will be it will be created of equal length chamfer and here is construction line no trim then no trim so it will not trim the lines it will keep the lines so option is basically same as corner tool toolbar then chamfer we have seen then next is trim command so let's take two objects So basically this command trim command you can use as a corner tool. If I click on this line and this line so it will create the corner. That means one line will be extended and other line will be trim. So in this way you can use this trim command to extend the object and trim and to create the corner basically. So it will easily create the corners. Then next is break command. Suppose I have two objects are there and suppose I want to break this line at this point so I will click on this break then at first select the element to be broken so I want to break this line and then select the breaking element so this is the breaking element so this has been separated from this line so this line has been divided at the intersection point of this line so in this way you can use the brick quick trim so whatever you don't want that you can easily trim it using quick trim then next is close arc suppose one arc is there 
three point arc we have created and if we click on this close arc and click on the circle so it will make it full circle that is close arc and if we click on this complement so it will create the opposite arc and it will remove the original arc that is complement then next is mirror suppose some object is there and suppose one axis you have to create one mirror axis around which you want to mirror then select this object using window selection holding down the first button pressing the first mouse button and dragging it then click on this mirror then click on the axis around which you want to mirror so it will be mirror around that axis then next is symmetry select the object click on the symmetry click on the axis so it will delete the original object and keep the other mirror object and next is translate that means you can move the object from one position to other position translate so for that at first you have to select it then click on translate then at first we will cancel this duplicate mode then give the base point and give the second point so it will be moved the ob selected object will be moved same way you can also use translate to copy the object also translate at first select the object then click on this translate then click on this if you want to copy click on this duplicate mode then give the base point and give the second point or here you can give the dimensions also suppose there is some object is there suppose i will create one circle is there i want to copy this circle at the end of the center should come at the end of this point so i will select the object translate duplicate mode is there so give the base point this center as a base point and this as the second point so it will be copied at that location so same way suppose i will remove this object if again i select this circle translate and if you give some instances suppose i want four copies give the first point and second point so it will create extra four copies so in this way you can create and if you select all of them you can copy them vertically also so in this way you can create an rectangular array also of some object if you want using translate so after translate there is rotate is there so you can rotate any object suppose a line is there i want to rotate this object so select it then click on rotate then cancel the duplicate mode give the base point around which you want to rotate and then give the angle here in how much angle 45 degree enter so in anti clockwise direction it will be rotated in that angle so again i will say object is selected so i will click on this rotate same way you can use duplicate mode also duplicate mode give the number of instances suppose i want it to be 8 then give the base point and give the angle suppose i want 60 degree angle so in this way you can create a polar arrow also using rotate then next is scale suppose i select some object again i select this object Con press control and select multiple object click on the arrow below the rotate scale then give the base point so duplicate mode is on so it will create the copy if you remove this tick it will not create the copy 
So we give the base point and give the scale factor. I want it to be two times. In this way, two object will be there, original will be there, and scaled object is also there. So offset we have already seen the offset. So that is the operation toolbar. Then uh, next is actually grid. You can make the grids on off from here. Then next is snap to point. If you make it on, so your pointer will only snap the points, grid points. It will not go. It will not go anywhere. Sometimes what happens by mistake we snap the point and at that time we have to see that if we jump our cursor jump like this that means we have made it on by mistake so just turn it off so you can go anywhere you want it then next is construction standard element suppose i want this object to be in hidden line or as a reference object just click on it so it will be converted into a reference object and if i want it to be normal objects again select it and click on this so it will again become a normal object then next is geometrical constraint suppose when we create some object suppose i create this line so here you can see v is automatically appear there so v is a constraint vertical constraint if you want that your object should not have any constraints then you can turn it off when you create the object it will not apply any constraint there and if you turn it on then it will create the constraint automatically so your constraint has been created so any of the other constraint will be created automatically sometimes there is problem while creating the object and you don't want any constraint so at that time you can make it off the next is dimensional constraint actually these dimensional constraints are created when we use the tab button to create the object suppose if i create the object and if i want to give this radius then i press the tab button and give the radius so at this at that time this radius is created but suppose i don't want this radius so i can turn it off if now i create a circle and press the tab and give the radius so it will not create any constraint dimension constraint so from this toggle you can control it whether you want it to be created or not so in this way this lecture is completed so thanks for watching we will stop here